All right. Hi, everyone. Wanted to show you a new way of tracking your business progress as you develop your authentic business. I put this together particularly for MasterHeart members. Uh, some of you who are in the biz plan course can also make use of this also. Um, especially if you've taken several of my courses, this will be this will be enlightening and hopefully a way to measure your progress and, and have some targets to work toward that can motivate you and, and help you prioritize how you plan your, uh, your week and your day. So let me go ahead and share the screen with you now. Um, just a moment, let me go ahead and find the correct screen to share with you. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this spreadsheet will be, the link will be in the notes above or below the video, wherever you're watching this. Um, this is the intro tab. Uh, next to the intro tab, you will see that there is um, a, uh, somewhere to the right of the intro tab, there is a pace tab. Let's go ahead and take a look at that first. So when we click on pace, what is this? Let me just make, make this a little bit bigger here. Okay, so let's talk this through. First of all, these are the different deliverables in your authentic business that if you work on these things, uh, and if you, especially if you work on most of them or all of them, um, this is the best chance that I know how to help your business succeed. I mean, if you literally work on most of these, like I, I have all of these things within my calendar, I work on all of them. Um, but even if you just work on most of them, uh, you'll have a better chance of succeeding in your authentic business than I know how else to do it. This is the best way that I know. Okay, the best, the best that I know how to succeed in business is right here, right in front of you. And so let's talk through each of these. Um, and I'm, I'm realizing actually it might be better to talk through the levels first. So let me just go to the levels tab on the right-hand side and we'll talk through that and then we'll come back to the pace. Okay, so the levels are basically... Um, just a way, I mean, there's nothing magical about each level other than just a way to demarcate the different stages or uh, of your growth, okay? So just I just call it level one, two, three, four, five. You can, you can call it whatever you want, uh, but each level, and these numbers are not some magical number. Like suddenly, if you make 54 videos, suddenly you have a graduated level two. You know, it's, it's just... It's just, these are just numbers that are uh, making, helping you gradually get to the ultimate level five. Of course, there's always more levels than that. For example, I, I now have well over a thousand videos and blog posts, but I noticed that once I got to level five or once I got to about 250 blog posts and videos, I had a full-time income. I, I had a waiting list of clients. It just seemed like my business was got easier and easier. Now, was there is there literally a number of 250 that's a magical? No. I mean, I don't know if it was 150 or 345 or 500 videos. I don't know. But I'm just putting these estimates because, and again, everybody is going to be different, obviously. Because if some people's videos and blog posts are well, way more resonant with their ideal clients than than others so it's not it's it, again these numbers don't take them as some magical numbers take them simply as a way to to continue um inspiring yourself to 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 keep going and it's like once you get to 250 you're probably quite skilled in doing content and not surprisingly you will also find yourself having Probably, I'm not, no guarantees, right? But you'll be much closer to having a full client load waiting list. It's just people inquiring with you all the time to work with you, right? So if you, if you, you know, here's what might be exciting. Let me go and, uh, okay, expand out a little bit here. I, I basically, this is probably what most of you care about, right? Monthly profit. Like how much am I actually going to, how, how well is this business going to support my lifestyle, well, like at level five, at 250, all expenses are paid in your, in your lifestyle, uh, rent, groceries, basic living expenses, having dinners out, vacations, everything is paid for in your life once you get to 250 blog posts. Like I said, this is not a magical number. I'm just giving you something to work towards. For some of you, it might even be 100. Some of you might be 500 or 750. I don't know. It depends on how well you do your content. And we'll, we, you know, I talk all about that in other places. So anyway, 
we're trying to work towards 250. And so I'm just kind of giving you milestones along the way to the 250 with 25 being the first milestone. You can definitely get to 25. And I, I urge you to get to 25 as soon as you possibly. Some of you are already there. And some of you can move on now to 54 or 90 or 150 or whatever. And I'm sure I can make this you know, number more um, even like 50 or you know, 55 or whatever. But I just did some kind of formula, a rounding formula using this tiny factor here. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The main point is try to get to, two, you know, your aim is towards 250 and you're working your way gradually along the way there. And what do I mean by key topics? Now, for each of these columns, you can move your mouse over the um, title and it'll give you some guidance on these things, inclu including um, the courses that I teach that help you, uh, you know, with these things. And those of you who are in Master Heart, you have access to all of my courses instantly, of course. So you can go into this and and, and study them as needed. Um, videos, just again, this is not a requirement. But if you want general guidelines, three to seven minute videos are, are great. But if you want to talk more, you can talk more. If you want to do less, you can do less. But, you know, that's just, again, general, but everybody can customize it to their own style and, and their own audience. Blog posts, two to 4,000 characters, not words, not words, but characters, which might be, I don't know, somewhere probably around 500 to 1,500 words, something like that. Okay. Um, and actually probably less than 1500, probably more like a thousand words maximum. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You customize it to your own style and to your own uh, audience, okay? Um, and what I mean by key topics is topics that are related to your framework, that are part of your framework in some way. If you don't know what a framework is, or you wanna build your own framework, create your framework, I have a whole course on that. You can check out all my courses at georgecow.com slash workshops. Um, sorry, uh, georgecow.com slash workshops, so you'll, you know, anyway. So basically videos and topics on key, to uh, videos and blogs on key topics within your framework. Remember the three stages of content. We're always working our way towards the third stage of content. You can Google the three stages of content creation for my blog post about that. All right, so market research conversations. The aim is to get to 100, okay? Once you get to 100 market research conversations, I am uh, I'm quite sure, I'm not going to, I'm not going to guarantee you, but you are very, very dialed in on what your audience most wants to buy from you. That's the magic of market research convos is you get super clear on what your audience wants to buy from you based on your skill sets of all the things you already can do, the, all the things you already do well, what would they love to buy from you? Okay, there is an answer to that. And the more market research combos you do, the clearer you get about that, the more excited you get to sell them what they would love to buy from you. And therefore, not surprisingly, everything, all the money you need to earn for your lifestyle will be there because you're selling people what they want. If you sell people what they want, of course, they're going to buy it, happily buy it from you. So market research conversations is my answer to how you figure that out. Well, it's a combination of several things, a combination really of these three things. Um, well, one, two, three, and then gentle launches. But market research conversations is a really big part of understanding your audience. And so um, if you do small group market research calls, you can count each person who's there as one of the participants. So maybe you do one small group research call with five people, you've already reached level one, right? Etc. And maybe 100 means you did 20 small group research calls with five people on average each. You see what I mean? So it could be group calls. It doesn't have to be individual conversations, but individual conversations can be very, very helpful. Um, collabs are basically connecting with your colleagues and maybe swapping interviews or collaborating in some other way that's light and easy to do. Nothing too heavy and onerous. Uh, if you want to, you can do that. But Collabs also help you to figure out what, your, what, what the market wants because you talk with your colleagues and find out what they want you to talk about. And that also is a signal to what your market wants from you. Um, ads for your best posts. I'm talking about stage two content. Again, if you don't know what stage two content is, go to Google and search the three stages of content creation and read my blog post. So ads for your stage two content using Facebook, in Instagram and LinkedIn 
Um, so I have courses on that. Okay, gentle launches are how I launch all my services, programs, offerings, products. And it's basically not pushing people things down people's throats like most marketing will teach you. Forceful launches and like exhausting launches. I talk about gentle launches. And my, my, my course on authentic business planning and core and authentic course creation goes into that. Um, and okay, uh, best of TLC. So those of you who are in my joyful productivity or TLC program, I have a best of playlist. And I just want, which is all my best joyful productivity lessons, video trainings. I just want you to work through that step by step. And then client case studies. Anyway, <clears throat> I talk about that in my business planning course. Um, and let's now go, I'm, I'm almost running out of time. So I just want to go to the pace tab. If you <clears throat> want to go intense, now let's talk about years to reach them. Because we, we all want to reach level five, right? All expenses paid in our lifestyle. How long does it take to reach level five? Two years it takes to reach level five if you're in the intense mode. Four years to reach level five if you're in the medium mode, meaning you, it'll take you four years to pay, have your business pay for everything in your life. It takes four years if you take the medium mode. And if you're too in the gradual mode, it probably more like take you seven years. Again, these are not magical numbers. These are not guarantees. I'm just giving you estimates of how long it probably takes some people, okay? And for, so if it takes you two years to reach level five and, and a quarter of a year to reach level one, what does that mean? That means you have to do 12 per month, deliverables per month, which means approximately three videos or blog posts per week. That's intense, I know. Some of you, that's actually doable. For some of you, you have to work your way from gradual all the way here. Gradual means you're doing about one blog post or video per month, you see. It's quite gradual. I'm sorry, one blog post or video per week. I know that's more than what some of you are doing, but I think it's really doable even for a gradual level. And then how many market research conversations per month, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope this is helpful. Last thing I want to show you is the tracker. The tracker, uh, we're in April right now when I'm recording this. You can click on the plus button on the left-hand side of any month to basically track how many you've done that month. So, oh, week one, I've done two of them. A week two, I've done three of them. And it always adds, adds up uh, for the whole year or totals for your lifetime. It adds up at the top. So I hope this is helpful. I'm going to end the video now and uh, look forward to your questions. Those of you in MasterHeart and TLC programs, I will be, be happy to answer your questions in more depth below. Uh, those of you who are not in those programs, you can ask questions. I can try to answer briefly below. I hope this is helpful. May this give you some really clear targets to work towards in your business. And until the next video, I wish you well.